Hi, in this podcast, we're going to talk about the difference between an alkane in a straight chain and an alkane in a ring and the different kinds of isomers that exist because a straight chain is able to freely rotate, whereas a ring, it's all tied together, it can't switch sides. So if you look at this cyclohexane, this methyl group is coming out and this methyl group is going back and there's no way without breaking the ring, oop, I broke the ring, that I could get them on the same side. Whereas if I start out with a straight chain, this methyl group is coming out and this methyl group is going back, all I have to do is rotate and voila, same side. So that's why ring structures have stereoisomers and straight chain structures do not. Okay, let's look at those two structures that I showed you with the models. One was 2,3-dimethylpentane. It looks like this when you draw it, with one methyl group coming out and one methyl group going back. And because all of these bonds are sigma bonds, there's free rotation going on all over the place at room temperature and pressure. So I'm going to draw this little arrow to indicate that we're going to spin this bond 180 degrees. And when we do that, I'll keep the left-hand side looking exactly the same. And then spin this, so instead of going down, it's staying up. And then this goes down, like this. And I have now gotten both methyl groups on the same side of the chain. And that's why there are no stereoisomers in straight chain alkanes. These two drawings rep represent conformational isomers, but not stereoisomers. Now, if we look at cyclohexane, or any cycloalkane, and the one I drew you had a methyl group on one and a methyl group on number three, with one coming out and one going back. So if you try to spin one of these bonds like this, what's going to happen is a bond is going to break, just like what I showed you with the models. Boom. And breaking a bond takes a lot more energy than rotating a bond. So there is no way to take this structure with one coming out and one going back and easily change it into this structure with both of the methyl groups coming back coming out at you. So these two are what we call stereoisomers. And there are lots of different kinds of stereoisomers. This is one specific kind of stereoisomer. But the general definition is isomers that differ in arrangement in three-dimensional space. And so these two will have the same base name. They both will be 1,3-dimethylcyclohexane. Oops, that looks sort of funny. 1,3-dimethylcyclohexane. But this one with one coming out and one going back is called trans. So we put a trans out front. So trans means opposite. And cis, C-I-S, means the same side. So a couple things. Trans means one up and one down, and we're going to use this later when we talk about chairs and conformational isomers of cyclohexanes, up and down. Cis means either both up or both down. 